We're Pitt and Dan. We're just such good friends. You know, we've, we, you know, we've got a very strong friendship, all three of us, so just really nice. I think that they were all really nice and down to earth. You could always have a chat with them all. Robbie Coltrane, yes. Maggie Smith. Working with Chris Columbus. He's an inspiration. He's energetic, he's passionate, he's kind, he's just, he's fantastic. Okay, good, good. Basically, at its, at its heart, these books give people a sense of hope, particularly for kids. It gives them a sense of empowerment, of hope, saying, you can do something different with your life. I think it is clear that we can expect great things from you. Uh, Joe Rowling asked me to read this here today. Having seen Dan Radcliffe's screen test, I don't think Chris Columbus could have found a better Harry. I'm also delighted to see that we're going to have a screen Ron and Hermione who can bicker as though they've been doing it all their lives. Chris's choice of three wonderful British actors for the leading roles shows how well he understands the spirit of these books. You do it, and if you're so clever, go on, go on. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. House Cup! Dan, at his core, is essentially a really good person. And I felt that that's what Harry was. Harry has a, has a goodness that you really can't explain. You can only see it in someone's eyes. She's so much like myself. I wasn't super popular or anything. I basically was her. That's not really describing it at all, really. Especially the tall part. I'm ginger, that's the main thing. <laughs>